Well, more than 5,000 Australians have had surgery to change their gender. Our next guest is on track to join them. Now, since uh, the age of six, Alexandra Williams felt like a girl trapped in a boy's body. At 14, she explained those feelings to her parents. At 18, she saw a doctor and began hormone treatments. And now at 23 years old, she's about six months away from having a sex change, which will complete her transition into a woman. Angela, uh, sorry, Alexandra is openly living currently as a woman and is making a name for herself in the modelling world. And we're very lucky that she joins us now. Hi, Alexandra. Hi. Um, along with, of course, our Sunrise GP, Dr Ginny Mansberg. Welcome to you both. Thanks. Alexandra, let, let's go back to when you were six. Now, you, you've said you didn't feel comfortable uh, as a boy. Um, what, what did you feel? What, what was it that, that, that twigged in your mind that there was something different going on? I just felt very feminine, effeminate, and uh, I, I didn't like boy stuff whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, and dressing like a boy was, it was ridiculous. It just felt like the worst thing in the world. Right. Yeah, and uh, especially getting my hair cut, it mm -hmm. was uh, difficult, crying all the time. And, really? Uh, yeah. I, I knew there was something different about me, and uh, I didn't feel, yeah, I didn't feel like a boy whatsoever. I really wanted to wake up and pray that I'd wake up as a girl the next morning. Really? Yeah. Really. And you've got a mm. twin brother, Justin. Um, how did you sort of, you know, discuss it with him and what did he say when you first came? Well, at the age of 10 years old, um, basically, I we were washing the dishes and I was telling him, oh, you know, I want to be a girl. And he thought it was a joke at first, but, and, I, and, and then he knew I was serious after I kept on saying it and saying it, and I was dancing around, saying, you know, um, I want to be a girl, I want to be a girl, I want to get everything snipped off, blah, blah, blah. And, um, <laughs> No, it was, that's how I told him. He understand. He understood. He was actually the first one to know. Um, actually, a, a, told him. Yeah, the first um, one to. And tell that was him. at ten years old. Yes, ten years yes. of age. It's I suppose so to a ten-year-old, there yeah. aren't that many things that are that are unusual. Yeah. You know, they're much more accepting of, of you know things than we are. I suppose. Yeah. Um, but, uh, which brings me to my next point. How, how did your parents react when you told them? Well, first of all, my mum. Uh, I told her it was after work and. Uh, I told her that um, we watched a documentary together about a, another a similar situation, basically. Oh, okay. And I told her that's how I feel, that's who I want to be. And then she was shocked, but she wasn't surprised in a way. I think mm -hmm. she knew in a way that I was wanting to be a girl, or was, the way I acted was very feminine. So, so she knew at that, that point, one. did you start, uh, you know, dressing as a woman, for I, example? And yeah, actually, um, I dressed as a woman in my mum's clothes uh, when she went to work. <laughs> Just jump around, spin dresses, yeah. kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah sure. Because big thing for parents to come to terms. I mean, obviously a big thing for you, but for your, for parents to have that thrown on them, it's, yeah. it must have been a huge shock for your whole family and, and all their friends. No, no, definitely. But everyone's been so accepting, especially my friends too. So yeah. they haven't disowned. They haven't like my parents haven't disowned me. My um, friends haven't left me or anything. Yeah. They support me in my decision. Um, yeah. Ginny, could I ask you? I mean, you've treated a number of transgendered patients. Mm. Um, how do you know, and how do the patients know, that it is the actually the right thing? I mean, because once you've gone through with it, you've gone through with it. Absolutely. I mean, and that's the first point of call is that you would always been seen by a counsellor and there is this gender dysphoria disorder where you are literally trapped in the wrong sex, mm. you know, wrong gender. I think Alex's story is so typical that by the time it comes to the attention of a doctor, it's, they know, it's, they've been living with this their whole lives mm. and trying to accept just how awfully wrong everything feels for them and sometimes it's a relief by the time they get to the doctor and describe it and somebody goes, yeah, 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 that's what you have let's get going on this, it's actually a relief. Mm. So you started along the process, Alexander. Take yes. us through the changes you experienced when you had the, the hormone therapy. Well, first of all, I felt um, sore, actual sore chest, really, like swollen um, around the, that area. And uh, my hair started to soften. Um, my skin started softening. Um, voice doesn't do anything unless you did it really young. You, um, hormones don't do anything mm -hmm. for your voice. I did that when I was 13, trained it. Um, but yeah, a lot, everything softens up really, and the face starts to oval. Well, it starts yes. to become round. Oh, right. Slightly, yeah. That's so. interesting. Did you find that your driving became more erratic? <laughs> oh, 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 You can slap oh, him down. That's right. <laughs> so you're six months away from, you know, the final element. Yeah. Um, which, being quite graphic here, presumably is the genital reassignment. 
Um, and and that, that's an easy procedure, is it, Ginny? Or? No, it's a huge, no, huge no. procedure. Right, no, yeah. well. And there are different ways of doing it. Um, a lot of my patients have done it in like Thailand because it's kind of cheaper there. Alex is lucky enough to be from New Zealand, so she can go over there and get it done right, much yep. cheaper. But here in Australia, there's only kind of one publicly funded unit, and that's down in Melbourne. Yep. But a lot of my patients who've had it done in Thailand, honestly, I'm hard pressed to pick the difference. It's pretty yeah, impressive. Right, it's, right. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, very, really. Well, a bit of a long, seems, proud history of it in Thailand. So, yeah. <laughs> 23 seems so young, though, but you obviously have had a whole lifetime to make sure. Yeah, no, definitely. It's yeah. been too long to keep it, uh, to have what I have, and to change, and I wanted to change it, so, yeah, yeah no, it's, too, it's been too long, so I need to get it done. You, you <laughs> mentioned, sorry, just before we go, you mentioned all the things that the hormone uh, replacement therapy did at, at a physical level, you know, the things that you're, you're feeling physically. Has it changed you at an emotional level, do you think? Yes, actually. I've become more sensitive. I cry easily. Really? Yeah, really? that's what I noticed too. Little mo like little sad movies, I start to cry over on, over no reason. Kind of wow. Thing, so. yeah. No, yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? And yeah. I understand more, you know, the woman now. I understand what women feel in some ways. Not entirely, but... Yeah. Um, you will be yeah. in a perfect position to write the handbook for men. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Living in the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. totally. That's That's been a buck true. out of this. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks uh, very thank much you. for joining us. And brave move, but you know, it sounds like it's the thing you've been waiting for all your life. So congratulations. No, definitely. Mm. And, uh, you know, especially with my modelling career going on with that and, uh, you know, having an amazing um, representation with um, Dion X Lee and yeah. also wearing this gorgeous dress, you know, ha, ha, from yes, Komoda, indeed. So the designer Komoda, so it's yeah. amazing, yeah, I love it. Looking good. <laughs> well done. Uh, thanks, all right, thanks for joining us, no, Alexandra, really lovely. Thanks, thanks Ginny, nice to have you here.